You know, you hear these stories, obviously, of these child actors, and they just fall, go to hell. Mm. They just become alcoholics and drug addicts, and rightfully so. They don't have any sort of understanding about the real world. They're in this, like, bubble, yeah. and all of a sudden they're just pushed, you know, the Biebers of the world and the, uh, what's his name? I just read his, uh, Just a Geek, Will Wheaton. Wheaton. Will Wheaton talks about, like, he never even wanted to do it, but his mom sort of made him do it. And, you know, he had his falling out and sort of like, you know, now he doesn't talk to his parents at all. He cut them off completely, which is the hardest thing he's ever had to do. And he was on the podcast and we talked about that. And um, when did you hit that spot? <laughs> did you ever hit that spot? Or were you always like, hey, I'm lucky. I, I had a good head on my shoulders. I didn't veer too much t that way. Well, I just, I think that I was just never like that successful. <laughs> What do you mean? No, like, I feel like things went pretty good, but it was never, like... You never were a superstar, is what no, you're saying? No, I feel like there was just never this, like, line of people, like, waiting to, like, high-five me and tell me I'd made it. Like, by the time I sort of had any awareness that, like, things were going pretty good, I was already... That that was already, in a way, in the rear view. Like, that, the, that ship had already kind of sailed, and I felt like I was going into catch-up mode. Really? Yeah. And you're saying like she's all that when that whole thing. Yeah, hit? like when when you're, it was very strange when people are like, oh my gosh, you're in a movie that's in the theaters, that's the number, number one, one this year. week, yeah, exactly, yeah. and it made all this money, and people are excited because it made money. You just, it it, it feels like an accident, and then you're kind of like, I, I I mean, it took me probably, I don't know, two three years to be like, oh, that was kind of neat and then i didn't book anything that was totally awesome until josie and the pussycats after that because i was just like trying to be cool and live in indieville and do like fun indie movies and like i don't know have that kind of like so-called credibility because that yeah. scene was so vibrant at the time you remember you were there oh yeah so yeah. um so yeah by that point and then I made Josie, which didn't make any box office money and then when people think that you don't make dollars and cents you're in trouble isn't that something that becomes a big cult movie and people, tons of fans come out of the word work later. Yeah. 20 quick years later. Here we are. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it, it is it before that. Oh, totally, totally. But it's, uh, but it's scary to be attached to a, a dollar value. You know what I mean? It's like, it yeah. worked for I've me. Never, I've never been attached to a dollar value. No, but like, but you are in the sense that like you can, like those movies that your agent, you know, calls you about that are like, Hey, Michael, we got an offer. It's, XYZ, you know, 100K for you to go to Bulgaria. Or Saskatchewan. Yeah, or Saskatchewan <laughs> for, for, for um, weeks. they can shoot you out. No, no, no. Oh. They can shoot you out in two weeks. And then there's some people who you have never heard of, but who have a lot of credits in Croatia and the rest of the movie. And you're just like, oh, okay. Like, this is what this movie is worth overseas. Like, uh. that's, like, that's what those, those paychecks and those movies.